What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. This is about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And now this is going to be a uh, Kirby heavy focused video for the majority of it. And the reasoning for that is because as you see in, your, in, in the thumbnail, the idea that I've had like fumbling around in my head is Kirby Reed potentially dating a now deceased Ghostface killer that we just met in Scream 5. Now, before I get into the Kirby aspect of it, this is related to Richie Kirsch. Richie is someone who I think many of us are in agreement with is the mastermind of what happened in Scream 5. He's the one who is the adult in the scenario, more so than Amber. He is the one who presumably groomed the girl and they met on the Stab subreddit. We learned that from Amber herself. We know that Richie feels that the Stab franchise hasn't had a good entry since the original. Uh, Amber seems to share that same sentiment. And we also just know that it seems that there might have been a, a this mentality of Richie's might have been something that has been existed for a while. Because there's a few instances where I rewatch the movie and I see it's like some subtle hints that point to Richie. Not only just the similar color patterns he shares with Jill and Billy, but when he meets Dewey. He's standing in the back behind Sam in like a, a fandom type of awe. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually meeting the real life person of this, this franchise I, that I love so much. But more specifically, the original film that I think has been tainted by the subsequent sequels. And now I'm meeting the real life person of the movie I love so much and feel so entitled to have an appropriate sequel to. So let's say this has been an idea of his for many years. He's been sick in the head about this proper sequel to Stab for many years. And at one point in his life, because we know that they were together for six months, him and Sam. But six months prior to, to that, or shortly before he even got into a relationship with Sam and was still actively involved with the Stab subreddit, he dated Kirby Reed. Kirby could have moved away from Woodsboro, gone to where Sam and Richie lived in Modesto, carved out a life there for herself. She really gave up the Stab franchise as a whole. She's still into horror movies, but not necessarily the Stab franchise. And then when dating Richie... Over time, his his love for that franchise just kind of turned her off. She didn't want to be involved with him anymore. She also got tired of him spend, spending so much time, let's say, on the Stab subreddit and just constantly wanting to talk about Stab. And it felt more so like Richie was dating her for the simple fact that she's a Woodsboro survivor. And this was just like another another of uh, addition to his fandom complex that he has about himself and how he's old this proper sequel because there might have been a time where he could be he could have been thinking up an idea of staging a ghostface killing spree with kirby at the center of it just for the simple fact that she's a woodsboro survivor she's a woodsboro survivor that that snapped and maybe he had some other things that he was thinking of as a way to connect her to the original film and Maybe he at one point had an idea with Kirby at the center of it all before he moved on to doing this idea that he had with Sam. After learning, of course, that Sam was the was the daughter of Billy Loomis, that's the instant thing that he would rather deal with, of course. But it just so happened that his fandom for Stab in general led to Kirby and him not working out as a couple. Kirby was never really that confident in their relationship because of that and his admiration for the staff franchise despite her saying that hey i don't want to talk about these movies all the time i don't like that stand fried franchise as much as i used to and you know exactly why but yet this man keeps on bringing up these sources of trauma for her because of his fandom for the film and because of the fact that he himself is just looking at kirby as like a token as a as a piece of that fandom now not really more so dating her for her but more so dating her because she's a woodsboro survivor so knowing that and if that were to be true you now have a brilliant way i think to give us a history already established between sam kirby and now all of the victims richie carved out along his path in screen five because Kirby, while she didn't necessarily see what all Richie was doing on the Stab subreddit, you could tap into some sort of guilt she feels over this. You could tap into um, that, again, this idea of them dating and going over that a little bit more and why he seemed to latch on to Sam like he did. And maybe Kirby could have thoughts in her, her, her head that maybe Richie was actually trying to plan something out with her at the center of it all. But luckily, they broke up. And unfortunately, Sam became the better option, obviously, because you're the daughter of Billy Loomis. You're the daughter of the original mastermind, the, the film this man is obsessed with. 
he of course he's going to try to get closer to you getting your pants more etc and exploit you for his own game so that's a brilliant way to give a bridge between kirby and the new characters we just met in screen five and i think this would also add a little bit more weight to why you see kirby reed's interview as a woodsboro survivor coming up on richie's screen in the search results not necessarily search result but like a recommendation for him and all this stuff like kind of just was pointing at the fact that richie is indeed the killer the the video recommendations related to stab a woodsboro survivor is Stu mocker still alive all of these things seem to point to that and then i think adding in a narrative that includes kirby dating this man prior to him getting involved with sam that could be something unique to explore that could be something that i know a lot of people might be on board with that oh my gosh kirby dated a killer and, and dodged a bullet she she noticed the charliness in him and said you know what i'm not i'm not dating you you keep on bringing up the stab films i told you i don't want to talk about those films i know you love the original movie but the way you keep going on about it and trying to talk to me about it and ask me about all these things pertaining to stab it feels more so like you're dating me is like a token as a part of this this clear toxic fandom that you have going on this could be something that kirby just noticed about richie early on it's like a red flag and that's why she dipped out of the relationship and unfortunately like i'm saying maybe sam just sadly became the newer focus because richie was still active on the stab subreddit who knows how long he was actually talking with amber and then over the course of the conversing with amber he found out that this woman who he worked with was the daughter of billy loomis so it became really easy to then use her forget kirby you don't need kirby you found something more better in your sick mind because richie all in all as the adult in the scenario you are the mastermind he's the mastermind of screen five he's the one who did the grooming he's the one who manipulated uh, not to say that amber doesn't have her own self-control but he's the adult in the scenario more so than amber but let me know what you guys think about that because that would be a a nice a nice way to explore some more kirby trauma i guess in scream six and kind of hear what she's been through and connect her to the newer cast and give them some things to talk about on screen let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and if you miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video